But you might be interested to know that most of the freedoms, the common law freedoms, and the freedoms defined in the human rights treaties I've briefly referred to, are not in our constitution. We have no right to freedom of speech in our constitution, a very limited right to vote, even that uh, seen as in equivocal terms by the High Court of Australia. We have no rights um, against slavery or uh, the rights to protect um, uh, associations uh, or, or privacy. Um, the, one of the very few rights we have in the Constitution is the right to freedom of religion, the freedom of religious expression. Now, if you'd listened to the debate about same-sex marriage, and I'm sure you all did follow that debate, you will know that for the first time in many, many years, we had a debate about whether uh, we needed stronger protections for our freedom of, re of religious in, uh, freedom in Australia. Um, what that set off was the hair running to say, uh, that we now need constitutional provisions or at least legislation that will protect freedom of religion. But in that debate, um, we had almost no discussion of the reality that it is one of the most strongly protected rights under our constitution, as distinct from the others. The High Court has implied a right of political communication. It's not quite the same thing as right to freedom of expression. Most critically, the treaties that I described earlier have for the most part never been implemented as part of Australian domestic law. So I know that this is um, only perhaps lawyers would, would really see this as important, but it is critically important that you go overseas as our, our diplomats and they negotiate and sign and ratify ultimately treaties. Those treaties make Australia legally viable or, or liable for breaches of those treaties in the international environment. But unless they are passed by parliament in the domestic sphere, they do not have any domestic application. And the reality is that while we've been such a good international citizen, most of those human rights treaties have never been made part of Australian law. So that the Convention on the Rights of the Child, for example, is not part directly of Australian law. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights or Economic and Social Rights is not part of Australian law. Um, the uh, Refugee Convention was in part uh, included in the Migration Act, but the government, this government, has stripped those provisions of the Refugee Act from the Migration Act, so that the definition of a refugee is now one ultimately for the minister. <laughs>